there's a star in our Milky Way galaxy that should not be there. It shouldn't exist. And it just got even stranger. This is on Science Alert by Michael Starr. What is it? In the halo of the Milky Way, a tiny ancient star called J0023 plus 0307 drifts about, minding its business. It's very old indeed, which is not uncommon for stars in the halo, but it contains no detectable carbon, which is pretty danged weird. So weird that the astronomy team who found it even said the star should not exist. Now, they found something else pe peculiar about this in J0023 plus 0307. It apparently has a whole buttload of lithium. It's a lithium star. This isn't actually that uncommon for very old stars, but it was certainly unexpected in J0023 plus 0307, which formed in the first 300 million years after the Big Bang, just after the first generation of stars were starting to die. Quote, this primitive star surprises us for its high lithium contact and its possible relation to the primordial lithium formed in the Big Bang, quote, said astronomer David Aguado of Cambridge University. When the universe somehow came into being 13.8 billion years ago, only the very lightest elements were forged. That means hydrogen and helium, of course, as well as very small traces of lithium and beryllium. The process whereby these elements formed from the primordial sea of neutrons, protons, electrons, positrons, photons, and neutrinos that came into being immediately following the Big Bang is called Big Bang Nucleosynthesis. Heavier elements came a bit later, created inside the first generation of stars, and when these stars died, spewing their contents out into the universe, the elements they forged were caught up in the formation of new stars. That's how the process of spectroscopy actually identifies very old stars. If they don't have a lot of heavier elements, what we call extremely metal-poor stars, or EMPs, then it's a sign they formed at a time before these elements existed in the universe. Now, J, the star J0023 plus 0307, what we're talking about here, has less than a thousandth of the metallicity of the Sun, and it's one of the most iron-poor stars known. Yet, in spite of its unnatural absence of carbon, J0023 plus 0307 has lithium in roughly the same proportions as other EMPs. The lithium content of this primitive star is similar to that of other metal-poor stars in the halo of our galaxy, and they define roughly a constant value dependent on the value of the metal content of the star. This is what astronomer Johnny Gonzalez Hernandez of Instituto de Astrofisica de Canarias in Spain says, the regular stars in the temperature of 2.5 million Kelvin that's necessary for stellar hydrogen fusion, lithium is destroyed. Larger stars can retain lithium in their cooler outer atmospheres, but generally speaking, smaller stars don't contain lithium at all. But metal poor stars don't burn as hot as later stars with higher metal content. This means that their lithium content is the lithium they started out with, so it's possible that J0023 plus 0307 contains lithium from the Big Bang nucleosynthesis and could shed light on that mysterious event. The paper was originally published at Astrophysical Journal Letters, and this is on Live Science. No, sorry, on Science Alert. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube 
channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.